Hello, people of the internet. Board Zach here, and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, we are doing day 24 of the Lego City and Lego Marvel 2022 advent calendars. That is right. We have made it to the final day. It's Christmas Eve when you're watching this. For me, it's one day before Christmas Eve. But it's starting to feel like Christmas because we got a pretty decently sized amount of snow last night. Um, and I uh, do not have to work today. So it's also feeling like Christmas because of that. So I'm not upset about any of this. Um, so that being said... Um, in the last video, we got the back part to this Guardians Christmas sled ship thing that I actually really like. And what did we get for City? We got Santa's little barn sleigh. So, without any further ado, we know what we're getting today. But I'm still excited to get them. So, let's get into this. Okay. And our figure is Santa Claus, of course, with a carrot. So he is going to ride that sleigh with the horse. Okay, awesome. And we did get a real Santa this time. They are quite weird with Santas in these city ones because Santa last year was not really Santa. It was a guy in a Santa costume. Which annoyed me a little bit, I won't lie. But this one, I'm seeing no signs of this not being Santa. Now this is the same Santa torso we've been getting for some time. Let's get this hat open. And... Gotta pop the beard on Santa Claus there. This head... I'm not sure that this is not a new head. This might be new. It might not be. But I don't have it. That's for sure. I do not have this head for Santa Claus. Um, and it looks pretty dang good. They've used quite... Yeah, it looks good. They've used quite a variety of um, hats and such for Santa, or not hats, I mean heads. Um, the hat has been the same for a while. Extra pieces for today. As always, we got an extra Santa beard, and then we got an extra green sprout. Um, however, I do want to do a short comparison, because I'm curious about this. So I have um, both older Santa figures so here's the old standard Santa, which is still my favorite. Um, and his head is pretty simple. It's just a smiling older head there. And I've always loved this figure so much. It's 2014 era Lego Santa, which is when I really got into Lego. And then we've got this Santa here. He uses a newer style torso, but he has that head, which I love this one too. It's a nice modern Santa figure, and I enjoy the glasses quite a lot. This one reminds me of the Santa you'd see like in the Coca-Cola ads. So what you've got here is a nice range of Santas. And then there is a Santa figure that I'm not including that came in the um santa sleigh set which i might grab really quickly so give me one moment gotta grab it off my display and this santa looks about the same as the other advent santa but he comes with boots so they have given santa boots before but that seems to be an ex like uh, an exception more than anything. Okay, I'm back. And if you were wondering, that Santa there 
was from the um, Santa sleigh. And then this Santa here, I believe this exact figure came in older calendars, but this specific one is from Santa's workshop. So, yeah. And then, as I said, here's our new Santa. Looks pretty good. So there was my Lego Santa history rundown. And of course, if you watched um, the advent calendar video, I think it was two or three years ago, I had two, but I had, they were both city and I had an older city calendar. That Santa was even older because he was just plain red. He had the classic beard, the classic hat that wasn't before this one was even molded. So I wish I had him. I don't know where that Santa's off to these days, but um, definitely a good one to have. And then as for Santa himself, he's going to be chilling on this sleigh with a carrot for the horse. Um, I do want him to be riding the sleigh, so I guess the carrot is a gift for after the horse, or maybe he's training the horse and he's about to go out. Um, I do want him to be facing the calendar. So yeah, maybe they're just preparing to go out. So Santa's in the barn getting ready. So there is our complete Lego City 2022 advent calendar. Um, the one thing I have to point out is our poor guy here. Hopefully Santa brings him something nice because he is definitely not having the best time. But yeah, um, really loved this year's city calendar. I think they um, did really well with that one. And I honestly think it was a lot better than the last couple that they've done. So I appreciate it for that. And then... Day 24 for the Marvel calendar. I'm going to try not to knock anything over. And it is our Drax figure, which I already know he's in there. Oh, apparently he comes with an Infinity Stone. Which I did not know. The Power Stone, which makes sense. But I'm surprised to see that in here. They really get their mileage out of those Infinity Stone pieces don't they um i've been really excited about this figure for one reason well one because it's drax and i love drax but two he uses a new lego color this color here this is new this is not sand green although it looks like sand green do i have any figures that have sand green on them uh close by oh i have lloyd his legs are sand green. That's not sand green. Or no, that's that's olive green. Um, oh, I have to have a figure with sand green somewhere. There we go. Okay, here's sand green. That is not the same, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. I remember hearing that this was a different green color. Maybe I'm losing my mind. But this is a new color for Drac. Um, I think I'm going to investigate really quickly. Sorry for those of you who are just here for a quick little video. I'm going to look on Bricklink. Let's have a look. Drags. Holiday sweater. What color is his head? It is sand green. What? Well, the internet lied to me. Okay, never mind. I went on that tangent for nothing. Um, I was told this was a new Lego color. But regardless, this is a new color for Drax. And I am not sure that I think this is better than the old one but i really wanted to have it and i think it's an awesome figure um on his own i mean he just looks fantastic um the dancing baby groot sweater which is awesome he has some utensils i'm not sure what he's going to be eating but it looks like he's planning for a feast and they give you power stones but they don't give you the little gold piece that Lego uses to hold them. Um, 
So I'm not sure what they wanted you to do with this. So that being said, I have this spare piece, which I don't think we got one in this calendar, did we? I'm looking around. This came in one of the calendars. I think it was the city one, though. But if you pop this piece out, if I could get it to come out, these things can be tricky. You could put it in there. Then you've got a festive Infinity Stone. So you could give Drax festive Power Stone. I'm not sure why on earth he would have this. Yeah, that definitely is sand green. I was fully convinced for the longest time that was a different color. So, this Drax figure, he is going to chill in our Christmas spaceship. So, he's chilling over here. Pretty cool. Extra pieces, um, an extra spoon and an extra fork. And you technically get an extra ring of Infinity Stones, which is pretty nice. And our final look at the Guardian's calendar. I definitely did not use up the space as well as I could have. But, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I really did try. And to the best of my ability. Now, I did forget something I wanted to do. So I'm going to tear this up really quickly. Because I want to get Drax back out of there. I'm going to take his stone and his spoon. Because I was literally just talking about this. And I got sidetracked and forgot. Um, I have an older Drax figure here. This one's quite rare these days. But I think a balance between these is what would work best. And like I thought that's what this was. Which is why I'm confused. However... I think I still prefer the old one. I think this figure still encapsulates Drax to me more so than our new one. However, there's something about this one that just works. And I'm excited to see the tattoos printed in dark red. However, Drax does wear like a coat now, like a jacket. So I'm not sure that we're just going to get an updated version of this, which is a shame because I would have loved to get an updated version of these tattoos because the Lego printing of those is extremely impressive. But that being said, um, that concludes the calendar. So I bought, I bought, mostly bought it for this figure. So for me, that was a nice way to end it off. I'm going to put him back in the thing. I am going to take his utensils away because he needs to drive that thing around. He's delivering gifts to all across the galaxy, I suppose. So, if you've been nice or naughty, that is up to Drax to decide, which I don't think he's the best um, decider of that. But, this has been a pretty long little video. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for another awesome year of videos. As I said a couple days ago, I do apologize that I did not upload as much this year. Um, life's really busy. I'm sure you all understand. But I wanted to go ahead and put that out there. And I just also, again, wanted to thank you guys yet again. The support this year on my Advent Calendar videos was great. The support this year on my content in general was amazing. When I do upload, you guys are always there to support them. So thank you all so much um if this is the last time we talk this year which i assume it will be um thank you all so much and have a very happy new year and a happy christmas with your families um no matter who you're spending it with i hope you guys have a great safe happy holidays and um thank you so much again for spending some time of it with me i really appreciate it so that being said i'm gonna wrap this up thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. I don't know when it'll be, hopefully soon. But whenever it is, I will see you guys then. So yeah, that wraps this up. So see you guys soon. Bye-bye.